Juliet? Juliet? How does it go? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know Romeo very well, so I thought I could just... Should we go get food then? But I can't come down, because thou art trapped in thouest thou. The thouest is doneth thouest thou. I think that was right. Ah, <sighs> Shakespeare. Sup, dude? Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Hi, her name is Kent, and why am I so bad at this? <laughs> Hi, my name is Kent. Her name is Jamie, and we walk through construction zones. That's all that there is to know about us. That's yep, it. that's it. <laughs> oh my god, Christoph, you look so seen right now. So seen. How much are cake pops? Two dollars. Two dollars a cake pop. All right, I am running rather late to class right now. We're doing interviews today, again. We're always doing interviews, it feels like. But, oh, it's just kind of annoying, because we're just doing the same thing, but I can't be late. I had to run back to my room and change, and I just, like, had to text the teacher. I was like, sorry, 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 sorry. So, hopefully I'm not holding everyone up, but, oops. We're sorted, everything's good. Today, I'm running audio, though, so this will be something actually really, really new for me. Look at this, ready? So, uh, Here's where I sit in this chair, and I look at this board, and it does things. I don't know what things, but things. Look, these are our people. This is Tom's and Grace and Izzy. They're the interview group for the day. And I have to control their audio. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> Hey Joe, do you know if the rain stopped? Did it? Not in my eyes. Not in Joey's eyes it didn't stop. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to meet up with Kristoff at dinner. I've got all my work done for the day. It feels so good, it basically feels like Friday because today is Thursday and then that means Friday is tomorrow. I feel like I'm talking to a third grader. Um, you're not third graders, you're good, you're smart. Here's the plan for this weekend though. We have spring formal this weekend, which is like our prom, our dance, our, um, uh, what else do you call those? I don't know. Basically it's our prom and we have it. Still actually thinking about if we're gonna go or not. I'm hoping we do because I know she would actually enjoy it. I think she's like on the cusp. But the problem is it's kind of expensive and it's kind of hard to get to because we have a dance show because Jason, Jamie's brother, is coming into town. We're going to his dance show. Then we're going to go to the show. Or to the... Oh my god. Like Baloo the Bear. I feel like a bear, but I feel so good. Oh, there's like a knot in my butt. I've been sitting so much today. It just I'm just like working it out. Okay, let's go to this guy's talk. So there's this inspirational speaker speaking at our school. And we're gonna go listen to him speak inspirationally toward us. I don't know if he's gonna do it at us, but in our general direction. That will. Will you tell me your name and what you're most grateful for, please? Sure. Uh, my name's Meg. And right now, I'm really grateful for the mentors that I have found here. It's made a big difference. So, again, on this idea of enrollment and the pushback you got from the print community after being outside of the community yeah. for a few years. It's sometimes easy to feel that even being here, like when you get excited about something, mm. especially like an idea or mm. a business or something. Raise your hand if you feel pushback here at all around your ideas, your passions, your dreams. Go ahead and raise your hand real quick if you ever felt pushback from your friends here praying about an idea you had. Yeah, okay, thanks. How did you balance or like walk that line of wanting to enroll people and inspire that shared vision mm -hmm. versus knowing when it wasn't really like, not worth it, but that you didn't necessarily have to convince every single person mm -hmm. to sort of buy into what you're passionate about and be able to still, like, move forward, even with a little bit of that kind of imposter syndrome. Sure, sure. That's a great question. Meg, right? Yeah. So I was always conflicted because I was always reaching out to my friends after the, you know, college who went here. A lot of them. There were some that weren't this way. There was a few that really were supportive. But there were some that just like were so distant and negative towards me or just not friendly at all. And I was like, what happened? Like, what am I doing wrong? 
to like lose his friendship. And so it was like so conflicting because I just wanted my friends. You know, I care more about pleasing someone than sometimes going for my dream because I care, right? Oh, nothing. If they don't care, it's because you don't care. Again, the more you care, is there an age limit to achieving your big dreams? Yeah. What's a big dream for you? Making YouTube videos That's every great. day. So what's your dream? Uh, I would like to do that for the rest of my life and then carry on to like every platform possible. So you're already achieving your dream is what I'm hearing you say or not? Right, but I think that there's, my dream isn't this like locked into what I'm doing right now. I think mm -hmm. that there's, I see myself on this like upward trajectory and sure. I want to be all the way up there, which is technically infinity. Here, yeah, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I don't think there's a, there's an age limit to some things. Like you're not gonna be 10 years old and playing the NBA. Right. You gotta be a, a certain age to be able to play, legally play a sport, a sport like that mm -hmm. you know, professionally. So it's like, sure there's a limit to some things based on the structure of the dream. But other than that, you know, I don't think there's a limit to your age. I mean, I achieved a lot. I wrote my first book before I was 25, and I almost flunked when I was 18 in English class. And I think I was the first one in my graduating class to write a book. If you believe it enough, if you master the skill, which I see you doing, you're in the work every single day. You probably create a video every two or three days, and so maybe no, daily. No, every single day. You're like Casey Neistat. I don't think there's a limit. I think the limit is what's in your mind. And that's something I learned playing sports is like, the only limit is what we have, you know, we're six, six inches away from our dreams. And that's the space in here. We're six inches away from achieving everything. Um, How did you even do that? I was like baffled the, the whole time it was dripping. I was you like, are you not phased by the yeah. fact that your ice cream is dripping? Can I clean it up? I was like, so, do you want another? <laughs> so that talk was so great. Very inspiring. So we ended up just coming back to the pub and having good chats with him. Such a cool dude. Very inspiring, very motivated teaching all of us. He did eat an feet. entire milkshake, but let like 90% of it spill onto the table. This is and then the last 2%. And then just bounced. <laughs> Good stuff though. <laughs> if you guys don't know who he is, he's a motivational speaker, he's an entrepreneur, he's all the things, and he just does it so well. And it's like in an inspiring way that I think you all could get something out of. He does quick podcasts, he does long podcasts, he does all kinds of stuff. He's actually interviewed Casey. You guys know Casey. so. That's fun. Nice dad is the one I'm speaking of. All right, well, today was amazing. Uh, my highlight of the day has to be meeting Lewis, and gratitude, I'm grateful for him for the talk that he gave to us. It was, like, really inspiring, and just genuinely, I came back to the room, and I've been working for the past two hours on everything. I just feel like I, there's so much I need to do. So that's great. But yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching. Finish that hard. Follow your dreams. I need to go to bed. I have class at 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh, boy. All right, love you. Bye. So it stopped raining outside. This is kind of when I find it, like the most beautiful. All right, so we just I finished the next door with the rain. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This week was great. Oh, this was fabulous. Like, after.